Hello and welcome to Ivory Times TV. I'm joined here today with one of our in-house reporters, Mike Obel. Mike, today is the first day of the third quarter, so how is gold doing? Gold, I'm happy to say, is up a little bit. It uh, just came off its all-time worst uh, quarter. It has fallen more in this past quarter, the second quarter, than it's ever fallen before, but uh, today it's up. At one point it was up over 2%. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things are up today. Stocks are up, um, oil is up, but gold certainly is up. Some of those gains, have they've tapered back, so now it's only up about 1.5%, but that's pretty strong for gold. And so why is it up today? Uh, it's up today for, for a variety of reasons. One reason is there, have been, there has been a series of reports, economic reports around the world, by a private outfit called Market. And Market uh, produces these reports by surveying purchasing managers about the state of the manufacturing business. And the general upshot, the general result of these reports today has been that manufacturing globally is better than people thought. Mm -hmm. When manufacturing is good or is perceived to be on the upswing, uh, that's uh, bad for the dollar. Mm -hmm. and, and this is at the heart of the matter, Sally. What's good for the dollar is bad for gold. What's bad for the dollar is good for gold. Okay. And a strong manufacturing uh, sentiment is uh, bad for the dollar and therefore good for gold. So that's a big part of what's happening today. That's easy to understand, but is it going to be, can it continue to rise or what's it going to take for it to kind of be sustained at this level? Yeah, the, I guess you're asking, is this a dead cat bounce, as right. they say, <laughs> sort of uh, gruesomely. I have no idea. But there are things that could pull it one direction or the other. Um, one thing that could uh, sustain today's growth is if there is bargain hunting. In other words, we've come off over 30% from the high of two years ago. In September of 2011, gold was selling for $1,921 per metric ounce. Today, uh, it's a little over 1200 Friday, uh, last week, it actually touched 1180 it's a phenomenal dip, and that uh, could stimulate some bargain hunting. There's evidence of that already. One, is, one kind of evidence comes from China, which is the world's second largest coal buyer, and they are uh, responding to the reduced price, especially buying physical gold. People can buy gold as securities, either stocks or ETFs, but they're in China they're buying physical gold. If that continues and it spreads to retail investors around the world, you might see this, uh, this sort of thing. Uh, be sustained. Uh, another thing that could could make this continue is dollar weakness. And as I mentioned, uh, when the dollar's weak, that's good for gold. On the other hand, there are things that could kill it off. And one has to do with the Federal Reserve. If the Federal Reserve were to begin to reduce its monetary stimulus, that is essentially money printing in the United States, that would cause interest rates to rise. Mm -hmm. When interest rates rise, it lifts the value of the dollar. Mm -hmm. It has the psychological effect of making investors think, gee, I can jump into a treasury or other kind of bond and get a higher return than I might get if I bought and held gold. Mm -hmm. um, probably one of the biggest things that will, uh, near term, that will determine whether or not this can be sustained is the Friday jobs report in the United States for the month of June. Mm -hmm. if, um, if the jobs report is strong, it would be construed as an incentive for the Federal Reserve to chill on money printing, mm -hmm. meaning the interest rates rise, which helps the dollar and hurts the gold. However, gold would be assisted, lifted, strengthened if Friday's jobs report comes out weak. Okay, perfect. Well, that's great insight and look forward to seeing what happens with gold next. Thanks, Me Mike. Too. You're <laughs> welcome.